As I mentioned, the Queen flies back to England today following her first state visit to Ireland. And while she's been away, one newspaper has taken a look back through the family album and noticed surprising similarities between some of today's royals and those from the history books. For example, here is the Queen pictured alongside her grandmother, Queen Mary. Here's Prince William, who bears a striking resemblance to King Edward I, give or take 700 years. And finally, there's Princess Beatrice, whose similarities to a young Queen Victoria have been noted. It's amazing. So that's the royals with their, uh, <laughs> with their ancestral doppelgangers. But what traits are we, well, let's say, less than pleased to have inherited from our ancestors? Um, what, well, um, I'm, I'm quite happy that I've inherited the, the height. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, and I don't... I, I'm, no, there's nothing that I'm, I'm unhappy that I've inherited, but I'm glad I didn't actually get passed on any hair gene things. Cause well, my, as in lo loss of hair gene? Yeah, well, my dad... like a beard? No! <laughs> no, we're head hair. Oh, head hair! Because my dad's bald and my mum was ginger. <laughs> so I'd either be like bald and ginger, or Nothing ginger, wrong with a ginger and bald. Well, so you married, you married one, so your kids would have exactly. had one if that had gone that way. Wouldn't yeah, they? you know, then maybe it's the ginger thing because Mark's a bit ginger. When he grows a beard, it goes ginger. ginger. Make him shave it off straight away. Oh, love it. Away from me. <laughs> no, I Memories. like ginger. I'm a, I, I do like. What ginger. do you? What do you think if you and Mark ever had children? What do you think they would inherit from you both? Oh God! Wow. Mm. Oh, they'd be quite. They'd be quite good looking, I suppose. Because. <laughs> oh, big yourself up, my No, because Mark's really not ugly. It would make up for you know what I'm lacking. I don't know if it was a girl. Probably it would inherit my big mouth, and it, if it was a boy, it would inherit Mark's big Head. personality. <laughs> Feet, hands, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I think that. One of the downsides is that I've inherited my dad's bad temper, mm. I think. Well, fiery, fiery, quick temper, which luckily, yeah. really, my, my kids haven't. My kids always say that the downside of Tim and I together, which is a sort of odd hodgepodge of things, is that we've both got the Healy's and the Welch's have got those really sort of craggy, craggy eyes. I've already had mine done, so Matthew's already saving up for surgery. Oh. Um, oh. No, because, no, because it is quite quite cr craggy thing. Mum and Dad's nose has balanced each other out, because although my mum's gorgeous, as you know, she yeah. has got one of those real Roman noses, but my Dad's got a lovely nose, so mine's just like a little sort of stubby normal thing, so yeah. that's quite nice. But hair-wise, although looking at Tim, you'd never think he had any. When I met him, he had quite thick hair. He looked like he was in a comedy double act called Bright and Breezy. <laughs> he had, he had this was he bright or breezy? Hilarious. He was breezy. Oh, okay. He had um, he had this sort of thing. So Matthew, the eldest of the two, has got his dad's thick hair, but. Honest to God, the poor soul, every single day Tim's going, whenever he gets it cut a little bit, you want to appreciate that now, son, because you'll be bald by the time you're 29. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's just not fair. You know what? He I, might not you be. Know, he might not be. I know it's is, paternal genius. I, I've always um, was a duck, you know, like when I was born, because I have web, <laughs> web feet when I was born, so I could swim really well. But they were cut, so nobody inherited my duck feet, which is really That's good. What, your it? toes were joined together? Yeah, like saying. that. Yeah, like... Uh... Oh, I knew she was really <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 Who did you inherit that from? <laughs> Your dad, Donald. I don't know where I came from. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny for you. Yeah. I don't know where I came from because I arrived with web feet. Has Keely not got it? No, nobody's got, them, nobody's got them. Nobody's got them. I also have a double jointed um, thingy going on here. Wow. Yeah. Which is very yeah. handy. Yeah. yeah, it's very handy. I'm going on, um, what's that talent show Britain's called? Britain's Got, got, got Talent. talent. <laughs> yeah. And I've also got dun, 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 a widow's peak. Oh. Which means I'm a witch, really. Mm. <laughs> well, in terms, yeah. in terms of yeah. hair, I've got my, I've got my dad's hair. You know, he wants, he wants his back, he's going as bald as anything. <laughs> I know, and he's got a moustache. Is that your natural colour? Is your dad that colour? 
His, his hair's black, actually, but it, obviously it's gone grey now, but his natural hair colour is, is but jet black. But were you black. glad of anything that the, that the kids did or didn't inherit from you? Oh, gosh. Well, both my kids have got my eyes, which is, which is great, because they've both got lovely brown eyes, which is quite useful. They because... can't see through them, no. clearly, but at the least they've got <laughs> no, them. But, <laughs> no, but I know it sounds terribly modern, but because they've got two different dads, at least there's something that makes them look the same. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> but the one thing I'm really glad they haven't got is the thing that keeps my glasses on my head. Yeah. These, they're You're really... Really useful. <laughs> They're very, very useful. But you know, you're talking about the whole crepey eyes thing, you know, and, and you're worried about Matthew. I mean, I think you look fabulous, regardless of. You yeah, know, but I've what, had surgery. What you, well, do you know, regardless of that. <laughs> because you've got. You've got no so creams for me, straight for the night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've, you've got so much energy, and, you know, considering the fact that <sighs> it's your birthday on Aww. Sunday. It's her birthday! Yay! I am a little bit in awe of you because you're such a party animal and you know you have twice as much energy as anybody else and wherever Denise goes she just makes friends with everybody you do you come back and the phone rings she goes who's that I have no idea no. so because of that and because it's your your birthday we have flown someone halfway around the world Panic attack. Well. just to <laughs> say hello to you today She's your newest, bestest mate, all the way from Azerbaijan. It's Eurovision it. winner, Nikki! Thank you. Oh, Thank I you bet your country can't down. wait. Sit down. Say, but your country can't wait for us to pop over to Azerbaijan <laughs> next year. Azerbaijan. <laughs> so, Nikki, how did the two of you meet? Oh, we met. We uh, met. A... Well, we went over for Denzi does Dusseldorf. Remember last week? Yes. And we were trying to get all these these people, and I admittedly hadn't really heard of Azerbaijan. So we got we got Nikki and Els. So I kept calling Al. It was Els. And we sat down and then discovered that Nikki lives in Palmer's Green. So despite the cameras, I was going, well, I used to live next to the door office. How many streets yeah, were yeah, you yeah, from we, there, we weren't you? We were chatting all the time. And, and you know, and then uh, the camera started yeah, taking yeah, yeah. the video. And when they stopped taking a video, we still chatting. carried on. And, yeah. and then I invited Nikki and, and invited her on to Loose Women. Yeah. And they kept saying, stop inviting everybody because they might get Neil Poit. Then we went. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, when they won, I'd almost forgotten about Blue. I was going, Nikki! Nikki! <laughs> well, this one, you better. We'll have a look, look at the What clip. do you know? We've got all that on camera. Let's take Good. a look. Oh, Nikki. Amazing! <laughs> so, Nikki, what's been the... Yeah, happy Nikki's here. What's been the reaction in your, in, in, in your homeland since, since you've won? Oh, my God. Um, you know, when we got results, it was about 3 or 4 in the morning sure. in Azerbaijan. And people were there until 7 in the morning. There was a whole country. Everyone was outside and celebrating. Everyone was so crazy and happy. And are they panicking or excited about no, hosting they something on a massive scale next year? Oh, they are so excited, I think. They're too excited. I'm too excited as well. And did, <laughs> did you expect to win? Because you were up there with the favourites at the start of the You of know the what? I thought the France was going to win, because everyone was yeah. saying... Yeah, he yeah, was hot, though, wasn't yes. France? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I prefer blue, to be honest. Yeah, you do like oh, blue. Oh, you are nice. Yes, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what are you up to now? What do, what's, been, what's life been like for you in the past week since you won Eurovision? Well, it's interviews all the time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're going from one country to another country. I've got no time to eat, to sleep. And you've got, you've got young <laughs> children it. as well, because yeah. you had to move back to Baku, is that right? Oh, look at yes. me, international. <laughs> Denzi International. <laughs> um, can't but pronounce it, but has, you know, has, yeah, has the fact that you've won changed your plans, which was to come back and live, and, and live in England pretty much straight away, wasn't it? Um, pardon? Right, okay. <laughs> so you, you had gone back to live in Baku. Yes. But you said that you were going to come back to live in come back to live in England permanently. Has that changed since you've won? Will you have to spend more time back in Azerbaijan? No, I'm gonna be in Azerbaijan and in, in England. Yeah, you're going, time, and the two, yes. and you're gonna to stay together with Els as a duo. Oh uh, I don't know. Don't know. No, we're gonna do some uh, songs together, but at the same time, you know, solo career. Okay. Sure. Tell Shall us we... um, what about uh, you know the after party? Did you go to the after party? Well, uh, yes. You sang there. Yeah, you? we sang there. We and sang what was there. it like? It was amazing. You know, things, I still can't believe that I'm a winner, you know, isn't 
superstar and it's just like you know <laughs> it's about six months ago housewife doing cooking and you know looking they were at the food. party with denty yeah. yeah did you see denise there Waving, I was waving to her. I was waving to her on the stage, pretending that she could see me. Were you allowed <laughs> in the, you you allowed in the after? Was she allowed yes, to come with you? Yes, I was. Oh. I was upset. Oh. Until seven, just like Azerbaijan were, <laughs> telling Jedward to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nikki, thank you for coming to see us and for um, surprising our Denise. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's lovely, Nikki, everybody.